Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today's video is about a reading lamp. Well, a miniature assembly painting and airbrushing lamp, really. And this guy is by Ben Q. <laughs> So here is the Ben Q lamp that they gave me. The specific specs of the lamp are here above. I am thoroughly thrilled with this lamp because I can use it for assembly, painting, airbrushing. I've used it for the past couple of months. I've given it a go and assembled battle forces and painted um, fancy looking cows and dragonborns. It's been so useful. It can go down so you can focus your light on one miniature. It can go up in general above your head, even if you're tall. I'm five foot one and three quarters. So it can go well above my head, but it can go above your head as well. And also keep out of the way if you have any other devices around um, and still illuminate very nicely, particularly for assembly. So we have a very easy way of turning it off and on. There's two different modes. You just hold down your finger for two seconds to switch between the different modes towards the front. This one is the reading mode for a book, is what they suggest. A nice soft light, which is, uh, I'm gonna be trying it out um, with my new white dwarf which we'll have a video out tomorrow for, because I'm going to be illuminating it with this lamp. Um, and then there's, if you want to illuminate and, and be using a device, like a cell phone or a tablet or something like that, switches to that so it's more subtle. Those are the preset modes, but if you want to change it to your custom mode, then all you have to do is start turning the dial. So, the dial has two different modes. You can change the warmth of it, it can become quite warm, an orange light, to a very blue examination room light. Now, I prefer to have it on the warmer side for more natural light. Right about here is what I like to have it on. But never get too comfortable in one setting. That's what I like about this lamp. You can change it from one color and brightness to another so that you can make certain that no matter what light source is on your miniature, it's looking its best. And there's about 20 notches of different brightness. To increase it very gradually to your favorite setting. It will remember your setting. Uh, when you turn it off and turn it on again. I would recommend it. I think it's a nice investment. I am going to be using it everywhere. I've used it for the... I just love it actually. Um, it's It now has a permanent spot on my desk in my airbrush room. I carry it around if I'm going to be assembling up on the dining room table for funsies. Um, I, I bring it with me. It's, ten, it's about 10 pounds. A little bit more than that, which for me is a bit cumbersome. But uh, for anyone who is remotely strong, it works great. And uh, it's quite stable. Uh, you do want to hold your hand down as you're adjusting it. Um, but yeah. Coming down a down for you. It is the most stable thing on this. did not even move whatsoever on the table. It's got uh, so much weight to it and rubber, uh, rubber bottoms. Do you see this cord? This cord is covered in braided fabric that is not going to be hurt. This is meant for a long time. This is meant for a lifetime. They actually, I asked how many hours you should get um, with this LED light that's inside and they said I think 20,000 hours was uh, what they said. So you should be able to use it quite well. I think it is absolutely worth it. I can't say anything bad about it other than the fact that it's cumbersome but that is because I am a weakling. 
Uh, I don't imagine it would be cumbersome for anyone who has more strengths than this. Um, I like it very much, so do let me know if you have ever experienced this before. Also, their service was great. If I had a question about it, they answered it promptly. Um, I do not know more about their customer service beyond that, but what I have experienced has been lovely. I hope this was useful to you. I, if they wanted any information about how to get one of these guys, uh, then it will all be in my description box. If you had any comments or if you yourself have ever tried one, you should let us know your experiences in the description below. Um, yeah, I am really happy that they sent this to me because I've been using it all over the place and I adore it. Boop. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great one. Bye. On. Change setting to tech reading mode. Book reading mode. Tap on top to turn it off. Tap on top to turn it on. Keep setting. Change your setting to warm. Ooh, scary alien room. Or warm. That's my favorite part. Tap to change it to down dim a bit dim still bright though and then up again to make it bright as can be for doing eyeballs